Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're going to be going over how to achieve smooth playback in your DaVinci Resolve templates, even if you have an older or weaker computer. One of the side effects of using a template with a lot of effects and graphics and alterations is that it can push your computer a little bit harder than normal. So on the timeline here, we have a template with our own footage placed down, but it's not playing back at full speed. We can see that it's choppy, and the number of frames being displayed is less than our playback frame rate of 29.97 frames per second. Thankfully, the process to get a smooth playback in this kind of situation is really simple, and we're going to be going through a step-by-step -step process to help you along. The solution is essentially to tell your computer to create different, more optimized versions of your media for playback. The first thing that you want to do is go down here to Settings. And in the Master Settings section, go down to Optimize Media and Render Cache. From here, you're going to want to set a new Optimize Media Format and Render Cache Format. If you're on a PC, set it to DNxHrsq. And if you're on a Mac, you're going to want to set it to ProRes 422LT. If you really know what you're doing, you can choose some different options. They're really just codecs after all, but this is our personal recommendation for getting smooth playback while still retaining high quality. Then right underneath that, set background caching to one second. Great, now let's make sure that what we just set up is actually able to be used by going up to playback and check that use optimized media if available is selected. Once it is, then go down in that same menu to render cache and set it to user. Awesome, we're almost there, but all we have to do now is select the media in question that we want to play back smoothly. Keep in mind, the more media you select to do this for, the longer the process will take. So you could select one clip, or you could select your entire timeline by hitting Control or Command A. Only there's one small problem. Because we're using a template, the normal way of optimizing media isn't available to us. Normally, you could just right click any clip in your timeline and select Generate Optimized Media, but this option isn't actually here anymore. If you're using a template, what you want to do instead is go down to the Media section and then highlight either the clip in question or just select all of your clips with Control or Command A. Once you do, right click on your clip or any of your highlighted clips and click Generate Optimized Media. What this will do is start to generate that new media codec that we just set up before, which your computer will be able to play back a lot more easily. Once it's done, head back over to the Edit tab, and you should be able to see that your media is playing back at lightning speed. Now I'm able to not only play back at full speed, but I'm also able to move around and scrub with my playhead anywhere in the timeline and get immediate visual response. Just keep in mind though that if you make changes to a clip by either changing up the color or compositing with Fusion, you're going to need to re-render these changes for smooth playback. Thankfully, once you've applied changes like for us just having made some quick color adjustments, you can easily re-render out a section by right-clicking the clip or clips in question and selecting Render Cache Color Output. And after letting it render out, you should be able to get back up and running to a smooth playback experience, even if your computer isn't the most powerful piece of hardware in the world. And guys, I hope you found this quick tutorial helpful, and I can't wait to see all the amazing things you'll use our templates to create.